we're going to look at the symmetry of this equation. Now this does have an x squared and a y squared term. I usually just look for x-axis symmetry first, uh, just out of habit, so let's check for x-axis symmetry first. We're going to swap y with negative y. Now we've done some examples where the y is squared, and we know that if you take a negative y and square it, you get negative y times negative y. The two negatives cancel, and you get positive y squared. So basically, whenever you're squaring uh, and there's a negative, it just becomes positive. But there's also a y in the middle, and that one is going to have more of an effect. So I'm doing the swap in wherever I see y, I'm putting negative y. So we have 3. Now, don't write x minus y. It's x times negative y. Minus 5 negative y squared equals 140. And again, I'm just copying what's right here. Replacing y with negative y. So I just showed you that this negative doesn't matter because we're squaring it. That negative that I wrote is that negative outside. This one canceled out and disappeared. All right, x times negative y is negative xy times 3 is negative 3xy. So that plus became a negative, and then we just copy down the 5x squared. All right, is this the original? No, almost, but not quite. That's the same, that's the same, that's the same. However, that term became negative, so this is not the original. All right, we failed x-axis. Normally you'd try y-axis next, but if you look at the equation carefully, x and y act somewhat similarly. If I make x negative, that won't matter, but exactly what happened here is going to happen when I plug in negative x in the middle term, it'll become negative. And so it's going to fail y-axis as well. So what I'm going to do is just skip right to origin. Feel free to try y-axis. So here I'm swapping both x with negative x and y with negative y. And top of the screen, it's not the original, but almost the original. So we're plugging in negative x plus 3 negative x negative y minus 5 negative y squared equals 140. Okay, so again, x appeared twice and y appeared twice. Here and here where we're squaring them, those two negatives we've already seen don't matter. They cancel out, so we're left with 5x squared. Here it's positive y squared, but times a negative 5 is negative 5y squared. All right, middle term. This time, we have a negative times a negative, and that means positive. So here's what we get, and this is the original. And therefore, we have origin symmetry.